Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Solo Raid Specialist, but without the raids, because we're getting there. Currently, still grinding for the Magic Fang, of course, that's going to be uh, most of my time spent for a while, I think. But, if I'm trying to relax and, you know, just do some skilling, there are some important things that I need to get done out of skilling, which is 85 crafting. So, here's the crafting level right now, 83. Two more to go and I can get myself a Fury, which is an item required for me to get before I head over to Raid. So that's going to be really nice. Have you ever wondered how bad or slow Zora is if you didn't have a Trident? Well, here is me trying to do a Zora kill with Ivan's Blast and a Rune Crossbow. Because I can understand that some of you guys don't want to do 87 Slayer for a Trident before Zora. So this might be viable for you. Uh, now it's a bit easier because... When you switch weapons, as long as you auto-cast it previously, your game should remember that you auto-casted Ivan, so you don't actually have to queue it up every time you switch weapons, so that's nice. But in this video, that didn't come out yet. But 4 minute kills, I would not recommend it. The option is there if you want to do Zora without a trident. So medium contracts are actually really good because most of the time I've been just getting herb tasks, which is really fast anyways. Uh, compared to the hard ones where I've noticed I've got a lot of tree ones and the rewards are actually still really good You get a bunch of areas still and sometimes high level seeds as well. So yeah, it's insanely good still All right Just hit 84 crafting man. These last two levels are just uh, Pretty challenging honestly mentally Okay, so I can craft black the high armor nice Come on, one more blow. Okay, and the finale of the 85. Yes! Yes, yes, yes. Amethyst arrow tips. Ooh, tempting. But, uh, oh man. Hell yeah, I don't gotta do crafting for quite a while. I'm gonna be very content with getting this fury. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go and sell some chaos runes for an onyx because 1100 Zora KC apparently wasn't enough. Haven't looked at my Chaos Rune stack in about in a while. 95k. Awesome, dude. 90 freaking 5k Chaos Runes. Oh, there we go. 270k. Aha! There's always that beautiful Onyx here. Value 260k. Okay. Let's go ahead and buy my first ever Onyx. Yes. Make sure I try this. Plus five, yes, easy, bro. Three attempts only, man. Ooh, yes, 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 yes. There we go. Enchanted the Amulet of Fury. Oh goodness, what a good upgrade. Now I have it. So that is a big item completed right here for Phase One, dude. That's awesome. So uh, in terms of what I would spend my time on now. Yeah, we're going to be working on getting Void next, uh, getting the skills and stuff for the diaries for Western Province and spending time and uh, do some pest control games to get that. So that's coming right up now with that free time opened up. But yeah, let's go. Use the Fury out of Zora now and get this magic fan. Goddamn. So I get a bunch of steel bars from my Gargoyle Task and uh, a lot of ore from Malito for steel bars. And once in a while, I will be AFKing some, not too often, uh, but the main purpose is AFKing cannonballs for shamans, potentially. I'm not exactly sure where I'm going to be spending most of my time at, because there's a few places. You know, there's the new shaman temple that came out with Kebble stuff, and there's, of course, the OG place, which is the canyon spot, super packed. But um, if I end up using the canyon spot a lot, then yeah, the cannon is really useful. We'll see, we'll see. I'll talk more about it when I start focusing my plans on the Warhammer grind. So I made an oopsie on this particular day because I forgot to turn on my recorder for like 7 hours straight. But luckily I was streaming it so I was able to get the clips from the stream VOD here. But anyways, I completed the Legends quest today so that way I can recharge my skill necklaces. The skill necklaces I mentioned in the last episode I wanted so I can get to the farming guild really quickly. And I also hit 76 farming, which allows me to plant the anima seeds, the seeds that you can get exclusively from Explorer. They're really good. Uh, the Cronus one speeds up or basically skips farm cycles. Really good for trees. 
Yasser is pretty nice because it reduces chance of the seas. And Addis is also pretty damn nice because it increases your yield. So herbs and like watermelons and stuff is really good. But yeah, man, looking forward to playing those. And of course, I worked a lot on Zora. And I ended up getting a freaking jar of swamp, dude. That shit's so, f so goddamn rare, dude. Goddamn, gotta keep it PG-13 though, boys. I did end up getting another freaking blowpipe, man. I'm like a freaking blowpipe magnet. Damn, it actually requires quite a lot of coconuts. I thought it was 15, but it's 25. But these magic trees, dude. Crazy XP. I have like... I think right now I've accumulated over 500k farm XP in magic trees alone because of Zoro. Oh no, Serpentine Fissage. Oh my god, dude. What? Seriously, guys. Holy crap, man. Look at my scales collection, too, dude. I pretty much have like 300k plus scales if I dismantle this, too. On the last episode, I did mention that if you do 3 kill trips, you will be able to sustain your Zora Teleports forever, which is true. However, you don't actually have to do it every single trip. So sometimes I can do 2 kill trips and still sustain my Teleports forever. Just because there's only a little bit more, like basically 2.2 kills, right? So in order to conserve supplies, if I feel like a 2 kill trip is better for this trip, I will do that because I will definitely save some parapods that way. Who knows how long this Zora grind is going to last, you know. I'm, I'm going to definitely uh, make the most out of my parapods, that's for sure. Palm tree seeds and some death runes. Uh, 1300kc. Nice and clean though. Snapdragon and some dragon bones. Okay. Very deep into the Zora grind here, but it's time to take a little break. And start finally working on some void grinding here. Along the way, I'm going to be training on defensive mode. So I can get the last three levels, get that little bit of XP off pest control as well. And yeah, mix up between pest control and magic fang grinding. My setup for pest control, really simple. Pretty much back strength, accuracy mix. And of course, training on defensive mode. I was not expecting these pest control games to be so fast, dude. Even at nighttime, man. I go out and I go in and the game starts, like, super fast. Oh shit, this actually brings back some memories. Like, look at that guy on the tower with that crystal bow. People used to do that a lot uh, back in the day. I remember I used to do it back in the day in 2008. Just go up to the tower and not get hit by like anything except for like the ranger. So that was pretty cool. There we go. It's actually pretty close to a defense level. So yeah, I'm gonna get a decent amount of XP towards 90 defense. Getting the elite void, so that's gonna be nice. Two more to go. Alright, pest control is gonna be a lot nicer than I expected. I'm easily getting 100 points an hour even during night time, so... I need a total of, I believe, 1650 points. For all of the void uh, equipment, helm included, and also the lead upgrade as well. So it should take anywhere from, uh, I would say, 14 to 16 hours. Just because I think I am getting a bit more than 100 points an hour easily. So yeah, it's not going to be too bad. Uh, I should be able to spread out the rest of these days and just, you know, bang out all of that stuff. No problem. Come on. Oh my god! Yes! Oh my god, yes! Finally! Oh my goodness, yes! Let's go, man. Let's freaking go. Holy shit! Hey, looks like we didn't have to go three times over the drop rate. Oh my god, let's go. Hell yeah, boys! Oh god, it's over, dude. Holy shit. Never been this dry as over before, man, for something. Honestly, even the AAA on my other boy wasn't wasn't even anything like this. Oh, that's so fucking nice, man. You can't graft onto a charge trident. Oh, it's, I have to uncharge it. I forgot. Does this work? Yes! Let's go, man. Uncharged toxic trident. Okay, okay. Let me charge that. 
Let me charge that, man. I need to put this on right now. Right freaking this moment. Check out my skills, by the way. Lots of skills. Ah, 2,300 charges, dude. 25 magic accuracy from the 15 and... The plus 3 base damage, too, that you guys can't see, but... Hell yeah, man. That's so nice, dude. We have we have actually gotten it now. That's one big, big item done now. So, uh, yeah, let's have... Let's go ahead and uh, mark this off on the progress sheet here on phase one. All right, so in terms of equipment goals here, just need to get the void, the assembler, the nasty warhammer, and a few uh, skills and diaries, and then we're good to go, man. Also, with the amount of skills I have, chances are you're not going to see me back at that boss for a long, long, long time. I mean, let's see here. Three, five, that's eight. That's 160k skills off of items right here. So that means I, I left off with about 350 plus thousand skills. That's gonna that's gonna last me months, I bet. So I think starting tomorrow, I'm gonna be doing a lot of you know pest control slash shamans as well. I need to make a lot of mithril bars so I can make mithril darts because I'm out of darts basically. I only got like 1k left, and I'm gonna be using a ton of those. So, yeah, I have about 2.5k mithril ores, so I can uh, make at least 25k mithril darts. If I start running low, hopefully, you know, I'll, I'll start reaching higher levels by then, and I can use Addy darts. But, yeah, we still have a lot to figure out for that, but I'll worry about it later when I run out of the supplies that I got right now. Wow, I have 500. That means I have 1,000 fertile uh, volcanic ash, yeah. Damn, I have a thousand volcanic ash left, so I already used 500. Especially with farming guild stuff, I've, I've just been using ultra compost so, so fast. It's actually crazy. So, we are going to be starting the full time grind for the Warhammer, and this time we get to use a new place. And I don't know if it already has an official name, but it's in the area called the Mulch, and uh, underground, I'll just call it the Shaman Temple. I think that's what people go with there but the shaman temple is a nice area that is singles and there's three rooms with two shamans each so the single part is nice because it does mean you can't just get crashed you know by people throwing it down a cannon or whatever so yeah it should be a lot more uh, in terms of toxicity it should be a lot less competitive and less toxic which is really good so that's gonna be my first place to uh go and kill shamans at and we have obviously the canyon spot. I really don't want to use the canyon spot because I've had uh, experience in the past where people would just crash you all the time and, and just, you know, extremely toxic. So um, if the temple works out really nice, I'm just going to stay there forever. So this is where I'm going to be wrapping up with today's video here, guys. I believe we made some pretty good progress. You know, finally getting the magic thing out of the way is so nice. That was such a big roadblock for... Uh, a long while, man. 1400 Zora kills, man. Was just not the easiest with my gear. But we're now at another, <laughs> arguably even worse grind, honestly. Yeah, 1 in 5,000 drop, baby, for that Warhammer. I really hope the Shaman Temple works out nice. Uh, I'm going to tell you guys more about it in the next episode because I need to spend more time here and, you know, just figure things out whether or not this place is going to be the ideal place over the canyon spot so yeah i'll tell you more about that in the next video anyways thank you guys so much for watching today's episode and i really hope you guys enjoyed it if you are new to the series and want to keep up to date definitely subscribe and uh click on the bell too and uh, other than that if this video gets enough likes we'll definitely uh try to plow through another solid prize video you have my work on that all right have a good rest of your day guys bye bye